Augie's Worldwide. I'm Dave Kastler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from a very frustrated ginger buyer. Okay, and she is having trouble with uh, a power supply, she thinks. But I think the answer to her problem is entirely different. I have an Elenco DM30T switching power supply. I have this power supply next to my ICOM 7300 and decided to move it to reduce the fan noise near my mic. I think in the process of moving it, she turned it off and then turned it back on. You can leave your power supply on all the time. It won't hurt anything. Now I want to tell you a little something about the ICOM uh, 7300. It has in it something that will terminate the USB link to the computer, okay? And it looks to the computer a couple different ways. It looks like a serial port, but it also looks like a sound card, okay? That part of the ICOM is always on, even though the switch may be turned off, okay? So when you turn on or off the power supply to an ICOM, even though the ICOM is turned off, you'll hear a beep in your computer as it discovers a new sound card. That's the sound card that's in the ICOM 7300, okay? So I think that is the source of the problem that we're working with here. Before starting the project, I turned on my computer and started some music. After moving the power, that leads me to the question, what music is appropriate for station reconstruction? Uh, let me know your favorite music to play while you're reconstructing your station. After moving the power supply, when I turned it on, the music would stop. The 7300 is connected to my computer with the USB cable that came with the RSBA1 remote control software, which I have never been able to get to work. And sorry about that software. Things I have tried, rerouting the cables, okay, placing ferrite core on the DC output of the supply, the supply power cord, the auto cable and the USB cable. I used a different USB cable. None of these corrected the problem. Only unplugging the USB cable allows the audio to play. I think I know exactly what your problem is. When you connect that USB cable to your computer, it recognizes that there is a sound card in there. And Windows 10 and Windows 11 are particularly bad about this. They help you by making the most recent sound card added your default sound card. So the music is playing to a sound card in your computer, but the computer is ignoring that. It's taking its sound from the cable. Let me show you how this works on the computer screen. You're looking right here, get over as close to it as you can. All right, these select playback device. Okay, speakers, real tech high definition audio. That's my normal. LG Ultrafine NVIDIA. I don't have a speaker on my sound card or on my graphics card. Real tech digital output. And that is a digital output that's uh, on the sound card somewhere. Now watch what happens when I turn on the power supply to the radio. Ooh. Now, when I turn on the radio, I have speakers, USB audio codec. That right there is the 7300. Okay. Now, as soon as I turn this off, okay, and it takes a moment for the power to go away, Okay, that one goes away, and now it's not there anymore. So what's happening is if you'll go down to your speaker icon here, and you bring this up, and it's got a little up arrow right here, okay, and you see this is your choice of sound sources. 
you want your normal speakers here. You've got speakers USB audio codec. If it automatically switches to that, switch it back. Switch it to Realtek High Definition Audio. Now let's go over here and we're going to look at WSJ, uh, WSJTX. Okay. Now here's WSJTX. Okay, that's wonderful. File. Let's see, configuration, view, um, settings. Okay, now when we go down to settings, rig failure. Oh, the rig's not even on. Okay, the rig's on now. Okay. But notice the audio. It wants to know what to use as the input and output. And look at the choices that you have. You have choices, all those same choices. You could run your output to your regular speakers right here. That's not where you want it. You want it to go to the USB codec, okay? So that's how you set this up. And then you want to make sure down here that your speaker is still your chosen speaker. Okay, so so Ginger, I would imagine this has been a very frustrating problem for you. And uh, the way you describe it uh, works exactly uh, as I described. So go in there and look at that. And that should make the difference. Um, if you have a problem with the computer constantly picking up on that, uh, turn off the power supply until the radio disappears. Remembering if the power supply is on, the radio's sound card is active, it's powered. Or hopefully you can do that with your computer and get that to stick. You should set uh, in your default speakers, your default settings, the speakers that you want. Okay, your regular computer speakers. And then uh, in WSJTX, it won't default to the default speakers, it'll default what you last defined, which will be the USB audio codec. Okay, so there you have it. I hope that is helpful to you. Let me know. And um, if you have watched this video this far, I really appreciate the interest that you've shown in my channel. Please subscribe and click like. Also, if you would like to help this channel financially, you can do so by going to decaster.com support and looking for a way that works for you, including a one-time tip, if you want, for as little as a dollar, or uh, actually, if you do one dollar, PayPal takes most of it, but maybe two dollars. Uh, and so until we next meet, 73.